Hey everyone, this is Ashadina from WeDevs. Today I'm going to be talking about the Gantt chart, which I will show you how it can be used in our uh, WordPress project manager. Gantt chart is a chart where the horizontal lines show you the amount of work done in a project. Gantt chart was invented by Henry Gantt between the years 1910 and 1915. Today, Gantt charts are used everywhere in product development, construction, manufacturing, assembly, ID sectors, marketing, and even finance. So let's show you how to use the Gantt chart in the WordPress project manager. Remember, you can always find the WordPress project manager by visiting the WeDevs website and clicking on the WordPress project manager. So I have the project manager installed. You can check it out in the plugin section, as you can see. I already have it installed. To create a Gantt chart, we'll start by setting the category. I'll name the category Party Management. I will also set the description, but this is optional. When you are done, click on Add New Category. Now I will click on Projects, so we can create a new project. I will name the project Ruth's Party, and I will place this project under the party management category and I will click on add new project to finish. When your project is created, click on the Gantt chart tab. So this is what your Gantt chart looks like, but the Gantt chart is empty and that's because we need to add tasks which will automatically update the Gantt chart. First, let's talk about what the different colors mean. The purple color refers to the project name, which is Ruth's party in this case. The blue color refers to the task list. In other words, it's just the name of the task. The green color refers to the tasks under the task list. Let me show you a diagram to make this simple. So this is the diagram that lists the tasks I will add. As you've seen before, the purple color indicates the name of the project, which is Ruth's party. The blue indicates the task list or task title. As you can see, I'm going to add three task lists, which is food, house cleanup, and furniture. Each of these task lists will contain the actual task, which is in the color green. So if you look at the furniture task list, it has two tasks in green called rent chairs and rent table. Now let's begin adding all these so we can see the results of the Gantt chart. So I'll click on task list tab, then I'll click on add task list. I'll type in food and click on add list. And I will set contact restaurant and the date to 6th. Then I'll click on add new. Now I will proceed to add the second task list, which is house cleanup. It will have the task room, and this has to be done by the 8th of January. Now I will add the last task list, which is furniture. Again, this will have two tasks, the first being rent chairs and the second rent table. Renting chairs will be done by the 13th of January and renting tables will be expected to be done by the 14th of January. Let's see how the Gantt chart looks now. This is how easy it is to create a Gantt chart. You just create tasks and you see the results visually and instantly. As seen in the Gantt chart, everything is under the Ruth's Party project. The task list, such as furniture, house cleanup, and food have all their respective tasks within the time frame. For example, under furniture, the renting of tables and chairs start on the 15th, but they must be done by the 14th and 13th respectively. Likewise, room cleaning under the house cleanup task list starts on the 5th, but it must be done by the 8th of January. You can also change the dates simply by dragging and pulling the green colored bars. 
so you don't have to go back and manually click on the calendar. And that's how you use Gantt charts on the WordPress project manager. Be sure to check out the WeDevs website to know more features on the WordPress project manager. Good luck!